Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Morning Mindset. I am very thankful that you're with me. I'm very thankful that you're here to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. If you're new to the Morning Mindset, I want to say welcome to you. Thanks for being a part of this movement to follow the King, Jesus Christ, in every step of every day. And we just begin that journey by doing it today. We get our minds aligned with His truth and we move forward today according to His Word. So today we're looking at Proverbs 26, 1 through 12. And this extended passage really is probably one of the biggest treatments that Solomon makes in the book of Proverbs concerning what he calls a fool. A fool is a person who does all kinds of crazy things, things that don't make sense. And Solomon is going to spend a great deal of time giving us a number of illustrations to exemplify what a fool is like. Obviously, with the desire to encourage us not to be this person, number one, and number two, not to associate with this person, meaning not to be harmed by the actions of a fool. Let's read the passage. This is Proverbs 26, 1 through 12. It says, Like snow in summer or rain in harvest, so is honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the back of fools. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. Whoever sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like a lame man's legs which hang useless is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds the stone in the sling is one who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes up into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like an archer who wounds everyone is one who hires a passing fool or drunkard. Like a dog that returns to its vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Now friends, I think you can see what I mean now as we've read that passage, that Solomon spends a great deal of time trying to help us understand what it's like to be considered a fool and why it is such a bad thing. There are all kinds of illustrations in there. Now, what I've always found very interesting in this section is verses four and five. They not only seem to say exactly the opposite thing from each other, but they do in fact say exactly the opposite thing for each other. And there's a point that's being made by doing so. Let's read those again. Verse four says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's saying, don't let yourself get dragged into arguments with a foolish person because you will turn out being foolish as well because you'll get dragged into all kinds of pointless arguments, all kinds of back and forth bickering that really isn't fitting and isn't becoming of you. I mean, we all know what it's like when you get in an argument and you say things you don't mean. You say things that And you never intended to say, well, those things come about because we're being dragged into a foolish situation much of the time. Now, the next verse that says exactly the opposite says, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. So in other words, sometimes a fool needs to be put in their place. Uh, They need to be shown their foolishness, even though there may be no hope of them growing or changing as a result. Now, friends, I think it's important for us just to spend time in passages like this over uh, the course of a day or the course of a couple of days, pondering each of these examples and asking ourselves with the help of the Holy Spirit, are there things described here that are true in my life? Ways in which I am the one who's being the fool. Lord Jesus, please give us insight enable us to see ourselves rightly and to do so with the help of your Holy Spirit that we'll be able to 
recognize where we live in foolish ways and how we can turn from those. Because Lord, you promise us if we lack wisdom, we should ask of you and you will give it generously. Lord, we want to be wise people who represent you well. So give us insight, give us wisdom, enable us to be representatives of you who are honorable rather than foolish. We pray it and we ask for you to do these things in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.